It's Wednesday, it's my first week back after two weeks off, <sighs> and I already want to go home. So, yeah, I've been off for two weeks. <clears throat> um, a lot has happened in that time. Um, We've had supplier issues, um, customer issues. Uh, I've had a bereavement in the family. Um, I've also had the birth of my daughter. Um, and then I'll come back today. My desk is a complete mess. So my first job is to get settled in clean my desk and get onto these emails. I've got loads of emails to catch up on. People are chasing me for money because um, I've not paid the invoices whilst I've been off uh, for parts and stuff like that. Um, suppliers are chasing me for answers to sign jobs off. Um, yeah, the joys of running a business. Um, the boys, um, the fitters, They've uh, they've had their instructions. Apparently, they've got a few issues with a couple of jobs as well. All down to suppliers again. Renelle in the office. She's been holding the uh, holding the fort very well since I've been off. Um, so I'll have a catch up with her when she gets back. Um, I've been booked in for about four or five surveys today. Um, normally, when I book my own surveys, like I book slots into our Google Calendar and I put the times that I want the surveys. Stupidly, I didn't change that uh, when my missus went into labour because obviously everything was going on, I forgot. Um, so I've been booked in for yeah four or five surveys today, which I could do without, but if I don't do the surveys, we might not get the work. So I'm going to crack on with that and then I'm going to go to the surveys. And it's only quarter past nine, and I've already had a call from the boys that they are fitting a bifold, and there is a, a massive scratch uh, and a dint in the middle of the sill. They've just unwrapped it. So I think we've had that in our depot for a week, and I think the cutoff is three days to report um, any damages, so I may have to pay for a new one, but they're actually on site now and I need to source one quickly before I leave at half past nine, which is in 10 minutes. <sighs> and Renel don't get here till 10, so I'm gonna crack on. So I've just done my first survey. It was for a composite door. And uh, what I like to do is <clears throat> so, when I do a survey, to save time, the reason why I bought an iPad and I've got software and things like that is because, I lost my pen, so, where the hell has that gone? Yeah. I always put it in my back pocket and I always sit on it. <clears throat> so, I got rid of uh, a notepad a long time ago because what was happening was if I had a full day of surveys I would write everything down quite scruffily then at the end of the day I would have to get back to the office write it out a bit neater so the person on the other end of the suppliers could read it a lot better and um, scan it email it send it wait for it to come back I invested in an iPad quite a few years ago now to get rid of that because one, it was taking too long for the quotes to get to the um, suppliers and then get back to me. <clears throat> this, as soon as I've done a survey, I allow myself five, 10 minutes afterwards just to send it off straight away. Uh, and then I upload it to our new software, which I'm not gonna tell you what it is just yet. Uh, we're trialing a new software for three months, I think it is, um, where I upload it to on the ipad it goes straight to our office all my site notes all my photos they all go to that um so then the girls in the office 
I say girls, girl in the office, Renelle, she can uh, write it up already in our other software that we invested in last year. Um, so then all we have to do is wait for the price to come back uh, and then put the price in and send it straight to the customer. So we're turning quotes around a lot quicker than we used to. Um, <clears throat> I still tell customers probably 24 to 48 hours until you get your quote back, depending on what the job is. For a composite door like this, it's probably 24 hours. Um, it just depends how busy the um, suppliers are, but if the customer's desperate and they really need the quote quickly, um, we've got sort of a pricing matrix that we can just sort of go off um, and give a rough quote that way. But I, I tend to like to do it accurately um, so there's no sort of grey areas or we might lose out if we do it off the matrix. So with that said, that has been sent off. I'm now going to my next one, which is 25 minutes away. Um, so I'll have a quick chat with Renell in the office on the phone whilst I'm on the way there. And then, yeah, the start of a very busy day. Hi, can I take your order, please? Hello, mate. Can I have two cheeseburgers, a large fries, and a, diet, a large Diet Coke, please? Yeah, it's Coke Zero, okay? Yeah, that's fine, mate. Yeah, anything else? Yeah, that's it, thanks. That's there, please, thank you. So since I've been on paternity leave, I've been telling everybody it's maternity leave, but apparently for dads, it's paternity leave. So I never knew that. Uh, but you learn something every day. Uh, since I've been on paternity leave, I have eaten my weight, probably a bit more than my weight, uh, in takeaways. Um, I was supposed to make some sarnies last night, just could not be asked. So I'm now on my way. I've just seen that my next survey is 45 minutes away. So I've rang the office and said, why are we doing jobs that far away? But apparently it's for a friend of the family, uh, my missus family, so that's why. So that's that, um, but not eating a thing all day so I'm gonna grab this on the way and because I can't be bothered to get out of the car uh, out of the van to go into a shop and put, I don't even have the time to do that today so that's why I'm getting another Mackey's because it's easy and it's relatively cheap that's the one yeah, mate. Thank you. Hello, you're Hello. Right. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Well, that was easy. Last time I come here, I had like a cheeseburger. Well, not this one, but another one. I was waiting ages just for a cheeseburger. Right, I'm gonna park up, eat that, and be on my way to the next one. Right, so that is the, just finished my last survey, which was the 45 minute away from our depot. Wouldn't normally do that far, but it's a friend of the family apparently, not my family. But anyway, that one's done. Uh, I must have had no signal on the way here because by the time I got here, I'm just gonna pull over. By the time I got here, my phone was blowing up. Um, not literally, but a lot of text messages, a lot of missed calls. Um, and apparently I missed the survey today. <clears throat> Although I checked the, uh, I checked the calendar, it wasn't put in. So I need to speak to girls in the office about that um, so that was that one uh, and also we've had uh, I don't know if I explained it this morning I can't remember um, there was an issue with the bifold now we had a bifold delivered last week from a new supplier we're trying a new supplier out it got delivered last week it wasn't checked we got to site today uh, I'll put a picture up here the sill was damaged so 
I've managed to source a new sill for today because I need that job finishing today so we can get paid. And not just because of that, um, we haven't got time to go back at the minute. The schedule is that packed. So <clears throat> that's that. Managed to get that sorted. And when I got to that job just there, um, I was told that the bifold does not fit. <sighs> so here's me thinking I've measured it wrong. Now I have measured stuff wrong in the past. I've never measured a bifold wrong, touch wood. Um, so I pulled out, well, before I went on camera, I went on um, my iPad, I had a look at the before photo and I counted the bricks and then I got the lads to send me a photo of the site, what it is currently at. And there's been two courses of bricks added since my survey. Um, so that gets me in the clear and it also, even better, is better on my wallet because if we mess up, I have to pay for it. On this occasion, I haven't. So I've spoke to the builder and he has, he has admitted that it's wrong. So they're gonna lift the lintel by the sounds of it. Um, so always take a before and after photo. If you're, if you're ever doing a survey, always take a before photo and then get the lads to take an after photo when they're on site because if there's anything untoward or like today, I've managed to look on my iPad, look at the original photo. That was the size that we agreed. That is the size that they have signed for. <clears throat> and yeah, there's two courses of bricks added after the survey, which I wasn't told about. But yeah, the builder has admitted that it is his fault. So very important. It could get you out of the shit because you might get a builder who is dishonest and say, no, that was always there like that. And then you've got nothing to refer to. So this is why I got an iPad. This is why I take photos of every job. You just got to cover your back nowadays. I'm on my way back to the unit. Uh, I should be back at about quarter to three. Uh, then I might treat myself to an early day, seems as it's my first proper day back. So, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>